Dear students, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is adjusted R square. In this video, basic concept about adjusted R square is explained and exercise on adjusted R square. Let us start. R square or coefficient of determination that is R squared is a statistical measure that measures the extent to which a dependent variable varies as a result of an independent variable. It is basically goodness of fit. R square is not deal with degree of freedom that is DF. Therefore, if new variable is added in the regression model, then if that added variable is significant to output variable, then R square will increase. Otherwise, it will remain as it is. However, adjusted R square takes into account degree of freedom. With adjusted R square, if new significant variable gets added, it is increased but not that much in extent like r square and but if not relevant variable gets added it decreases so this is the basic difference between the r square and adjusted r square with r square addition of new variable if it is significant it increased if it is not it will remain as it is but here if we add the new variable which is insignificant it decreases and if we add insignificant if we add significant variable it increase but not that in that extent like r square now we will see the concept of degree of freedom the degree of freedom often refers to the number of parameters in the model that are estimated from the data in r square calculation we deal with ess tss and rss they include average and linear regression model average is one parameter for average degree of freedom is n minus 1 where n is total number of records now here we can easily understand why the degree of freedom is n minus 1 for average. For example, total n number of records or values are 5 and for that 5 values are represented as 4, 7, 8, 9, 11. If we know 4 values, we can find out the 5th value if we know the average. So we have the degree of freedom n minus 1. It indicates that there is a freedom for 4 values to be set. But fifth value we have to set according to that four numbers and the average value. So here if we know the average of this number that is 4, 7, 8, 9, 11, then we can set any four values by any amount. But whatever this last number we have to set according this four according to the four numbers and the average. That's why the degree is n minus 1. That is out of five variables, four variables have freedom. Uh, that's why degree of freedom is 4. For linear regression model, number of parameters are intercept and number of independent variables. Therefore, degree of freedom is n minus k minus 1. For 100 records and k equal to 1, total parameters are 2. One is intercept and other is slow. Therefore, degree of freedom is n minus k minus 1, that is one independent variable, that is 100 minus 1 minus 1, that is equal to 98. It indicates that 98 records are used to feed the regression model. Generally, the degree of freedom is equal to the number of rows of the training data used to feed the model. When DF is more, the robust model can be built. As number of independent variable increases and number of records are constant, at that time, explanatory power of the model decreases. However, if new variable is added, and it is if it is relevant to the output variable then explanatory power will increase so this is very important observation that when we add number of independent variables in the regression process and if we keep that number of records constant that is training data then explanatory power of the model decreases but if that variable added newly added variable is significant then explanatory power will increase For n records, for n equal to 100 records and k equal to 999, that is uh, total number of records, training records are 100, but the independent variables are 999. If we see, there is a lot of difference between these training records and the number of independent variable. Now, total parameters including intercept is 1000. So, one is intercept and others are slope. Therefore, degree of freedom is 1000, 100 minus 1000, which is equal to minus 900. Uh, that formula is n minus k minus 1. Negative number 
degree of freedom is negative but still it is valid it indicates that in the model more parameters are there than the total number of observation and this is not the good sign because there are chances of overfitting as well as poor model generation adjusted r square addition of new independent variable in the model decreases degree of freedom and therefore the explanatory power so whenever we add new independent variable at that time it in decreases the degree of freedom and therefore explanatory power because our formula is n minus k minus 1 so when we add new, new variable at that time degree of freedom will decrease and as well as it will decrease the explanatory power but if added independent variable is more significant means it increases the explanatory power of the model if this power overcomes degree of freedom then adjusted r square increase and if this power does not overcome the degree of freedom it decreases this is very important to understand if added independent variable is more significant means it increases the explanatory power of the model and if this power overcomes the degree of freedom then adjusted r square will increase and if this power does not overcome the degree of freedom it decreases with r square this is not the case it will increase for addition of the significant variable but will not decrease or will remain as it is as it does not take the degree of freedom into account therefore adjusted r square is more reliable than r square so here the important point is that when we add the new variables at that time the explanatory power decreases as well as degree of freedom is also decreases but if that variable is significant then its explanatory power is more and it will overcome that the degree of freedom and at that time our adjusted r square will increase otherwise adjusted r square will decrease now i have already explained this diagram in r square so r square basically is nothing but tss is equal to rss plus ess and the formula of r square is ess by tss that is explained by the regression divided by explained by the average in r square we already seen this formula that is r square is equal to ess by tss if we arrange we are getting the formula that r square is equal to 1 minus rss by tss now here we require to derive the formula for adjusted r square here when R, rss that is nothing but the residual error that is nothing but the error with the regression so basically it is difference between the actual value and predicted value as this operation is of regression we require we divide by the degree of freedom of the regression the degree of freedom of the regression is n minus k minus 1 n is number of training records k is independent variable minus 1 divided by tss tss is related with average operation that is mean operation and its degree of freedom is n minus 1 tss divided by n minus 1 if we arrange this equation we are getting adjusted r square formula now as this formula if we use this rss and tss combination we can get this formula for adjusted r square also that is 1 minus 1 minus r square n minus 1 divided by n minus k minus 1 so any formula we can use for the calculation only difference between the r square and adjusted r square is that adjusted r square take the uh, degree of freedom into account now this is the example so this table is given with five records in which y is dependent variable x is independent variable and this is the equation of line that is y is equal to 0.2 plus 2.6x first we require to calculate the r square now r square is ess by tss so we calculate the r square it will come as 0.845 now when we calculate the adjusted r square we are taking into account the degree of freedom so see the calculation for degree of freedom uh, adjusted r square now here total five records are there n equal to five here it is a simple linear regression so number of independent variable is one therefore degree of freedom for regression is n minus k minus one which is equal to n minus two and total five records are there so degree of freedom of mean or average is n minus one that is equal to four we just require to put the value as we have already calculated the r square we are putting the value and once we know how to derive the formula and how formula comes 
it is very easy to do the calculation so by calculating this we are getting the adjusted r square is 0.79 now here we compare that the value of r square is 0.85 and where value of r square is 0 0.75 0 0.79 so it increase that that variables is added so by addition of that variables r square increased more but adjusted r square is not increase that much amount uh, which is equivalent to your r square value now see the next example here this equation of line is given and we can see that four independent variables are there 1 2 3 4 that is x1 x2 x3 and x4 total number of records are 30 and here k is equal to 4 now sst and ssr is given so i have already explained in r square that in literature two uh, synonyms are used for example rss ess tss or ssc ssr and sst so we should be comfortable in any one of that um, notation now this is sst and ssr now sst is nothing but tss and uh, there is 1805 and ssr is nothing but ess because we can remember the formula by any single way so we just require to communicate this between these different notation now here first we calculate the r square and after that we calculate the adjusted r square now r square and adjusted r square nothing is changed it means that all four variables are very much significant so there is answer of r square and adjusted r square is very quite similar so that's all about adjusted r square so only two points to remember that when we add the new variable in the regression process its degree of freedom decreases and explanatory power is also decreases but if that added variable is significant then it increases the explanatory power so if it overcomes the degree of freedom then r adjusted r square increase otherwise adjusted r square decrease thank you